Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards. Got a couple uh, returns today to go through. First one here is from Provo, Utah. Interesting um, postmark there, the circle. Also has this postage due on it, um, which is kind of interesting because when uh, when I first started TTMing, I looked up, you know, kind of how many cards you can put in. And one of the one of the tips was is that, you know, if uh, if it gets there, then it should have enough postage to get back because there's essentially less than the envelope because there's not the, the weight of the other envelope. Um, so it's interesting that it has supposed to do. So that may mean that, um, you know, whoever this returns from, maybe they added something to it. Um, maybe there's some bonus things or maybe I was just right on the limit of how many they could do. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what we got. So, so it's interesting to learn the ins and outs of the Postal Service when you send all kinds of things through the mail, so, or send things to yourself, so. All right, let's check this out. So it doesn't look like there's any, um, any index cards, it's just cards. We'll do the slow reveal. Very nice. This is Corey Snyder. So he played uh, for the Indians, um, the Blue Jays, and the White Sox. I pro probably a couple of the teams are the ones I know. He, he was a third baseman over the Giants as well. I was watching a opening day of the Giants uh, game on YouTube from 1992, and he was playing for them. But um, yeah, so we got our 89 tops. Very nice. Another one to add to the collection. Also another Indian, since uh, that seems to be the common one. Oh, very cool. 89 Donruss Diamond Kings. Very nice. That's awesome. He, he was, uh, kind of had the mullet slash mustache going on, which is pretty legit. A little bit better picture there of that. Nice. 89 Donruss. Very cool. And then 91 score, Rifleman. So uh, earlier I got one from um, Bobby Witt, and his is, uh, I think it's K-Man or something like that. But um, this is a insert set from, or I guess a subset for from 91 score. Very nice. Yeah, that one, the signature turned out really well on that one. You can see it kind of pops there. Cool signature. I like the compact but fills up a lot of the card and then we have 89 upper deck that looks like it i don't know it's always interesting to figure out where uh where these pitches were taken um aaron boone who's the current manager of the yankees um he, he used to be or yeah he, he was an analyst and they used to do a segment of him of uh, uh, looking at pictures of uh 80s baseball cards and he could tell like visiting players at uh, stadiums and he could tell which stadium they're at by just looking at the picture so pretty awesome there and then 89 score very nice looks like he kind of he, he signs them all kind of at the bottom of the uh bottom of the card um you know no no regard for anything else on the card which which is totally fine uh, that's kind of interesting he looks like he's just sign, always signs in the same spot and then the last one here is 90 score. So similar, similar pose there. Um, but that one's kind of cool with kind of the ball in flight. So awesome. Yeah, so some great returns here from Corey Snyder. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Um, this is from Minneapolis, Minnesota. So thought we would give this a look. Uh, today's March 26th, which is, uh, should be MLB's opening day, but of course, uh, it got postponed due to COVID-19, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so, but we got returns to open, so we'll go check that out. So, looks like we got my, the, uh, oh, no, 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 no. That letter in there. I've got some index cards. 
think they are this way. Let's do it that way. So today we have Scott Leis. So he was <clears throat> the third baseman for the um, Minnesota Twins 1991 World Series winner. So um, sent a few cards out his way, which is pretty awesome. Got them signed here. So first one, this is 92 Fleer, and then 92 Score. Very nice. Looks like the Chirpy is fading a little bit, but cool signature. I like that one. Um, yeah, I feel like that 92 Score. I feel like every every one of those has turned out really awesome. So I'll need to make sure to try and include as many of those. Here's 91 score. He's got, got him listed as a shortstop here. Must have come up as a shortstop and then moved to, to third. And then, um, oh nice. This is a 90 Fleer, Major League Prospects. Um, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, John Orton also signs. And so I was going to try, I've seen you know people do this before, is just send out, uh, send both players. Um, so I thought this would be kind of a cool one to see if I could do that with that one. So very nice there. He signed obviously on his side of the card, which is cool. And then the last one, nice, 92 score. So this is a, um, this was an insert in the um, factory set. And so uh, I was going, looking for something and I, I came across this one. I was like, this is sweet because it's got the 91. World Series, of course, uh, Jack Morris, uh, 10, 10 inning complete game shutout, um, 1-0 game. That, I remember watching that game. That was pretty awesome. So, um, oh yeah, and then this play as well. I might link to that in the uh, description. Basically, um, Kent Herbeck was, uh, held the tag on Ron Gant's leg and then, uh, essentially just picked his foot up off the bag and called him out and it was pretty ridiculous but um so yeah so that's a scott leis card there so yeah so got five returns 92 fleer 92 score 91 score 90 fleer uh rookie prospects and then 92 score uh world series card that one that one is pretty awesome so also today is uh this is kind of kind of sad but awesome at the same time um the uh 20 years ago today was when they imploded the kingdom and i remember watching it, it was a sunday morning uh, watching it on local tv i uh, just live here north of north of seattle watched it implode um went to a bunch of games obviously they're growing up um so when i saw this this is a, a stadium star of of ken griffey jr um starting lineup put them out back in the day and uh so i had to pick one of these up um found it on ebay so yep so that's another another great memory for today even though there is no baseball um, we can remember uh, 20 years of the kingdom imploding so uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time